This session, I will talk about the estimation of OLS regression uh, parameters. Um, so first, uh, let's uh, pay attention to the two main results. Uh, if you're rusty with mathematics and uh, linear algebra, uh, you can just uh, memorize these two main results without getting to a lot of details of derivations because those derivations uh, might require uh, robust uh, background in um, advanced mathematics, including linear algebra. Okay, so first is um, the OLS regression uh, parameter estimates, uh, including both intercepts and uh, slopes. So that's what we call beta hat. Hat here denotes a uh, estimated uh, parameter as opposed to uh, beta without hat. So beta is equal to uh, parenthesis x prime x. So prime here denotes transpose. So it is x transpose multiplied by x, uh, the uh, predictor matrix. Um, then take the inverse of that, multiply by x prime. Again, the transpose matrix of x multiplied by uh, the column vector of uh, the response variable. So that is uh, the uh, parameter um, estimates vector um, from OLS regression. And that uh, vector, um, column vector, uh, usually includes intercept. Now let's look at the variance of beta hat or the estimated uh, OLS uh, parameter. Um, this um, result quite often uh, is used to uh, make statistical inference. So the variance of beta hat of uh, beta uh, OLS estimates is equal to sigma square. Uh, this term is a identity matrix. Okay. So this term is an identity matrix. And then multiply x prime x inverse, yeah, x prime x inverse. And uh, sigma square is the uh, is the variance uh, of a return. Uh, if you remember when we uh, went over the major assumptions of OLS regression, uh, we assume a homo uh, sedestic city. Right? That means all the error terms to follow the same uh, normal distribution with the same um, uh, variance. And that sigma square is from a um, um, couple assumptions uh, of uh, OLS regression, inc including normality, including homosodasticity, right? And uh, that is an, uh, a um, parameter actually in the population. So we have to have a sample analog. What is the sample analog? Okay, the sample analog is S square. Why we have to have a sample analog? Because what we have at hand is our sample, right? So we don't know what, what is sigma square. So we have to get an estimate of sigma square from our sample. So from the variance of beta hat, we have the hat of the variance of beta hat. That is, we have an estimate of the variance of the estimated beta, okay? So this is S square multiplied by uh, X prime X uh, inverse. And later on, we'll show you part of the derivation. And what then again, what is S square? Well, S square uh, is a ratio of the uh, summed square errors which is in the uh, numerator and n minus k minus one in the denominator. And here, n is the total number of cases. K is the total number of predictors. 
And here, well, why we have minus one? Well, that one is for the intercept. So basically, is n minus one? Uh, excuse me, n minus k. If k includes that uh, unit vector, okay. And uh, here, just a uh, very quick precursor to the error term. So here, um, in the numerator, we have uh, e prime e, and e here is a column vector of uh, the error terms. And for each element in that column term of uh, error, excuse me, in that column of error term, we have E sub i equal to uh, the observed y for the uh, case i minus the predicted, the predicted y. What is that predicted y? It's not known yet, okay? So we have to go through estimation to find the equation, then we can calculate the predicted, okay? But let's assume we know that predicted y is, then we can take a difference. And here, I forgot, should be y sub i uh, hat. Uh, so going back to that uh, uh, e equation, okay? E equation, excuse me, the E uh, vector. So uh, the E prime, just that's easier for me to write because E is a column vector. So E prime is a row vector is equal to what? E1, E2, E3 to E i comma dot 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 comma to E n. So E1 is the error uh, of prediction for the first uh, observation, right? Excuse me for the uh, response variable y for the first observation. And E2 is the error, prediction error for uh, the response variable of uh, the second observation, um, so on and so forth.